When you're having friends over for a party like the Super Bowl, you want to make sure you can offer them some options. But you don't want to do all the work because at the end of the day, you want to watch the game too, right? So I'm making meatball marinara today. Meatball marinara, whichever way you want to say it. And at the end of this recipe, I'm going to show you how to make this two options. Now I've got meatloaf mix. Meatloaf mix is beef, pork, and veal. Now watch what we do to this meatloaf mix to make it our perfect meatball. You ready? One egg yolk. And then we're gonna add in half a red onion, which I chopped and sauteed and let cool. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Two tablespoons of milk. A fourth of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And then the classic mixture from G-Dude, kosher salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then we're gonna finish it off with a half a bunch of fresh parsley. Give it a good mix. Scoop out the meatballs. Put them on a baking tray. And then roll them into hard balls. And that's how you roll the meatball. Next step, I'm heating up olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. We've got a quarter of a cup in the pan. It's heating up and we're gonna brown our meatballs on all sides. And we're browning along. I don't know if you can hear, but we got Henry over here. Hey, what's up, Henry? Hey! He's, Henry's playing with his toys while I'm cooking. Once the meatball's brown, take your slotted spoon and we're gonna put it back on the parchment paper. Okay? From this point, you could actually let them cool down Put them in freezer bags and freeze them. They last up to one month, okay? But we're actually gonna move on and put these things in our marinara sauce, or as everyone else says, marinara sauce. You gotta agree, so far this is pretty simple. So the meatballs are brown, and now it's time to hook up the quick marinara, all right? Here's how it's going down. I'm gonna put in a fourth of a cup of olive oil so I can saute my onions, and then add in my garlic, and then some basil. We're gonna saute that all up nicely. Then we're gonna add in our crushed tomatoes, one cup of low sodium chicken stock, two teaspoons kosher salt, one teaspoon black pepper, two teaspoons dried Italian seasoning. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and once that goes to a boil, we're gonna put in our meatballs and let that simmer for another 10 minutes. I promised you options and now it's time to deliver. Option one. We are talking about meatball marinara in a bowl with skewers, okay? This way, if someone's looking to keep their New Year's resolution diet, they can go low carb, all right? Check out the skewers, you can use toothpicks. One recommendation, keep the meatballs kind of small so they don't have to worry about, you know, taking two or three bites off one skewer, okay? Another recommendation, get yourself a lemon, cut that in half, all right? And then take the bottom of the lemon and make a little square. Now when I'm done with my skewer, boom, right in the lemon, all right? Option two, we are talking about a meatball sub on a fresh French baguette, okay? One layer of mozzarella cheese, then I got my meatballs, a light marinara, more mozzarella cheese, pop that in a hot oven, watch it, the cheese is gonna melt. When the cheese is melted, take that thing right out, put a little fresh basil on that, some red pepper flakes, and we're talking about option number two being unbelievable. So there you got two options for the Super Bowl. Enjoy the game, let me know how it turns out. If you have any ideas yourself for your Super Bowl parties, let me know, all right? Talk to you soon. And once that goes to a boil, we're gonna put in our meatballs. Bring that, Henry. We're gonna put in our meatballs. 